sealing for dry enough. And this is wet enough. So that means we just saved ourselves some time. Now, and in the future. And Aussie will say that that's what it sounds like. <laughs> anyway, I see you didn't even understand that. Thank you, sir. I'll be sure to put an extra large size turkey in your hamper this year. Mm. Uh, just fill that up again. Still keep drying. But this is wet. Is it magic? No. Maybe it's me, but it's mm. salt. Salt baby. Now these are a bit new these blades, so if you're doing your project with them, well actually one thing we didn't do is we meant to tell it back, you know? Okay? Be sure to do that. But when you get a new blade it kind of leaves it a little bit rough. You know where it is. So if any pros are in the comments, let us know how you like to wear your blades in if they is a little tricky use. What do you do, Kurt? I put a bit of water on some flat concrete and yep. I just slowly swell it. Yep. Doing each side, just trying to bring it down. But also making sure that I don't uh, so put any nicks in. We're going to bend this blade again and take this edge off. Feather. See that feather? And then sort of I like to sort of hold it a bit wide and just just skim through the top. We don't want to put edges on the edge again. It leaves it a little bit coarse. And we're fed up one side. Next side. Try and get that out. Uh, that's pretty good. You can just fill it that bit. That should be pretty much, that's a bit, don't really want to leave that one, but it'll be right. It'll be right. Kool-Aid under the umbrella tree, we actually filled this up and got that ready. So that when we put the corners on, you got a nice line. We might need to put a little bit more there, but about got about five minutes left before this mud is out. So I like to fill the whole joint. I love this job. Any plasters watching at home? I bet you also love this job. Everyone enjoys it. Everyone I know who does it, they love it. It's a great trade. If you're just getting into this trade, well, they, they do this all over the world. And um, always gonna need repairs. And it's a very practical trade. And you don't need a lot to start off. So, it's definitely... Oh, and we did forget to, we did forget to straight down. Which way? If it does that, Normally there's a little bit of snot in there.
crevice a little blade and do our screws. And because we gave it that third swipe on the first coat, you don't even really need to go like that. But if you only give it two, sometimes you always have to go like that. Got some good videos of the drywall gangsters going through on sticks, doing it really fast. Great method. here in Australia, as long as everything is good between like here and there, it doesn't matter what goes on here. And uh, if you're wondering about these gaps, um, it doesn't it doesn't have to protect from fire or anything like that or smoke. It does get a cornice going over the top, it's made from the same materials. Now here is the cornice that goes over the gap between the ceilings and walls. And there's various sizes. This one's 90 mil, and um, the corners factory here burnt down, and so only one brand is being sold. And that's CSR, and that's what this is, CSR. But it's really good, and it's paper-faced gypsum, same materials as the walls itself. And uh, it's very fast, very easy to install, seals up nicely, it's very strong, very hard to pull it down as you've seen in other videos. But we don't have to have this fireproof between here and the next room, only if someone's living next door. So this actually is a duplex. These aren't fire rated these walls, but if you go to that side of the house where the neighbour is next door, that's where there'll be a firewall. And that's when it's all sealed up over there. So, chalk and cheese mate. Chalk and cheese. Almost forgot it's Friday. Let's get it moving. Let's get it moving. And why I love this job is because that's done. We're going to head back out to that umbrella tree, pop another Kool-Aid from the fridge and um, We'll see you very shortly on the uh, on the top coat.